Who is the best women's tennis player ever? GOAT ranking for Serena Williams, Groff, Navratilova, and others. In this video, we will discuss who is the best female tennis player who has won many titles at Wimbledon and deserves to be nicknamed the real GOAT. Let's go straight to the video. Five, Chris Evert. Evert was a model of remarkable consistency. Reaching the semi-finals or better in 52 of the 56 Grand Slam tournaments she competed in during her career. Winning 18 singles titles, Everett was a sublime, graceful operator from the baseline who won the French Open a record seven times, including twice on either side of a three-year absence due to competing in the World Team Tennis League. Everett would have had a few more slams to her name if it hadn't been for this and running into her great rival Martina Navratilova. With three Wimbledons and two Australian Opens to go along with a joint record six US Opens, which she won four in a row between 1975 and 1978. Four, Margaret Court, along with leading the all-time list of slam titles in the sport. With 24 singles and 64 overall, Court is also the first woman in the open era to win the calendar Grand Slam. Completing a clean sweep of all four majors in 1970, Court also won three of four matches in 1969 falling just short at Wimbledon, making the 1971 Australian Open her sixth consecutive slam victory and eighth overall. Her home slam in Australia was Court's favourite and accounts for 11 of her 24 major singles titles overall. Though it should be noted that some of the world's top players overlooked it during this time period. Nonetheless, Court's five French Opens, three Wimbledons, and five US Opens demonstrate her all-court ability. She won her first slam in Australia in 1960 and added to her impressive longevity by winning her last slams in 1973. When only King's Wimbledon victory prevented her from completing another full set in the calendar year. 3. Martina Navratilova Navratilova and Everett defined tennis and perhaps women's sport as they faced off 80 times in a rivalry that lasted from 1973 to 1988. Navratilova won the overall head-to-head 43 to 37. But she was dominant in big moments, winning 10 of the 14 Grand Slam finals she and Everett competed in. Five of those victories came on center court at Wimbledon, where Navratilova set a record with nine singles titles overall, including six in a row from 1982 to 1987. There were also four US Opens and a second French Open title in 1984 over Everett on her favorite surface. Which meant Navratilova held all four majors at the same time when she won in Melbourne the following year. She continued to compete at an elite level into the 1990s. Winning her final slam at Wimbledon at the start of the decade against Zena Garrison and losing in the 1994 final to Conchita Martinez. Another dominant force had emerged by that time. Two, Steffi Groff. Groff made her mark as an elite performer with a commanding victory over Martina Navratilova in the 1987 French Open final, claiming a memorable first Slam victory. Navratilova defeated the German youngster in the Wimbledon and U.S. Open finals that season before Groff ended the Navratilova Evert era definitively in 1988. She was the first and only player since Court to complete the calendar Grand Slam which means she is the only male or female to win the Big Four tournaments on three different surfaces. She was also the first to win a Golden Slam, triumphing at the Olympic Games in Seoul. Groff's flawless footwork and lethal forehand enabled her to dominate on clay, grass, and hard courts. Seven Wimbledon titles and six Roland Garros titles were among her 22 Grand Slam singles victories. Graf reached 13 consecutive major finals, winning nine of them beginning with her first French victory in 1987. She only needed 31 Grand Slam finals to amass her incredible haul. Although Graf was never able to replicate her 1988 heroics, she did win three of the four major singles titles on offer in 1989, 1993, 1995, and 1996, making her the only tennis player 
male or female, to win each of the major singles titles at least four times. One, Serena Williams, number 24th of may always remain tantalizingly out of reach, but Williams is unrivaled in the women's game, aside from bringing previously unseen levels of power, athleticism, and skill to the court. Her dominance is notable for the incredible length of time she has dominated. Williams, then 18, completed a superb run at the 1999 U.S. Open that included victories over Kim Clijsters. Monica Seles and Lindsay Davenport by defeating world number one Martina Hingis in the final. Serena was still a distant second to Venus for a while after that, with her older sister winning back-to-back -back Wimbledons and US Opens in 2000 and 2001. The last of those victories came at Serena's expense. But the younger Williams rose to prominence in 2002, winning the French Open, Wimbledon, and the US Open. All of those final victories as well as the Serena Slam that included the Australian Open and Wimbledon that year. Came against Venus. Williams lost the 2004 final at SW19 to Maria Sharapova. A rivalry she would go on to completely dominate. Before form and fitness issues plagued her in the following years, success continued to roll in. With Australian Open victories in 2005 and 2007. And a third US Open in 2008. Serena completed the Australian and Wimbledon doubles in the next two years before her next golden period began. The fifth of seven Wimbledon titles came in 2012. And it was followed by more success at Flushing Meadows the first of three US Open titles in a row. Williams' fourth consecutive semi-final loss to unseated Roberta Vinci prevented her from completing a calendar Grand Slam. Having already won the Australian Open, French Open, and Wimbledon in 2015 for a second. Williams surpassed Groff as the most successful woman of the Open era in terms of major singles titles with a seventh Australian Open title in 2017, her first major final against Venus since 2009. Matching her Wimbledon tally and edging ahead of six US Opens and three at Roland Garros.